Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Library Manager System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we let the admin update any book details on the admin panel. So in this tutorial, what we are going to do is that we are going to show the book details in the user home page. So let me just log out from here. And here you can see currently we are in the home page and there is no logged in user. So right now let's just go back to our code and we'll go to our routes then web.php and here you can see for the root view we are calling the home controller index function so this is the root view here you can see so we are calling the home controller index function so let me just go to the home controller so we'll go to app then http controller and here you can see home controller and for the index function we are calling this view home.index so right now if we go to our resource then views and inside views you can see home folder and inside home folder we have index.blade.php which is this one so basically whatever view we are seeing over here is coming from index.blade.php and here you can see at the end of include home.book section so let me just uh, go down and here you can see this section is coming from here home.book so let me just go to the book.blade.php and there you can see all book popular latest and here you can see the uh, book name book image then the author name everything is over here so right now what we are going to do is that we'll just only keep only on image and on that over here and we are going to remove everything else from here so in order to do that what we are going to do is that uh, here you can see deep class call lg12 row create and here you can see deep class call lg6 currently market item all msc so what we are going to do is that we will only keep the first div over here and we will remove every other div from here so here you can see uh, we are going to remove this on this on and this on so right now we will remove those three and right now if we save it then let's go back then if we now refresh here there you can see there is now only on book dot over here so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to show the book data from the database table so let me just go to the database uh, bsm admin then our database name was library and our table name is book so here you can see all the book details over here so right now we are going to show those book details from the table to over here so in order to do that we need to go to the uh, http controller and then home controller.php and over here what we need to is that we need to get the book data and in order to get the book data first of all we need to mention the model name over here we are going to say here use app backslash models backslash it will be book and after it we are going to declare a variable over here let's say dollar data equal to we'll mention the model name which is book double clone all we'll get all the book details over here and store this in this dollar data variable and after it we are going to give a comma here we'll say compact to single quotation and it will be data so right now let's set this and we are sending all those data to this view which is home dot index and our home dot index inherit the home dot book which is this one so we'll also have access to this dollar data over here as well in the book.blade.php so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to mention a for each loop before this div class 6 our div college lg6 currently market before this we are going to mention a for each loop we say here for each dollar data as dollar data then we will in this for each loop over here after this div so we'll say here at the end of int for each so let's get the top and using the dollar data we'll be able to show the book details and uh, here you can see for title we write over here title like this author name like this so first of all here uh, we are showing the book image so right now uh, we store all the book image in the public folder let me just go to the public folder in the public folder here you can see we have a book folder 
and in the book folder we store the book image so what we are going to do is that we are going to store over here the folder name book then we will give slash then we will give to second bracket and here we are going to say dollar data this arrow sign and for the book image uh, here you can see the column name is book underscore image so ing so we are going to say here book underscore ing and after it here you can see this is the title so here we will give to second bracket then we will say here dollar data this arrow sign title and those will come from the database table those name okay so this is the uh, author author image so what we are going to do is that we are storing the author image in this author folder so we are going to stay on here author slash to second bracket then we say here dollar data this arrow sign and in the database the column name is author underscore img so we will say here author underscore img and after that this is the author name so we'll give to second bracket then we'll say here dollar data arrow sign author underscore name uh, this is currently available so and we are showing the number over here so we need to get the quantity from the database table so here you can see of the quantity we write quantity like this so uh, we need to give over here to second bracket then we need to say here dollar data this arrow sign quantity after quantity so let's just remove this total from here we will show the total number of quantity which is available and here you can see view total view item details we'll just keep it so right now let's just save it and here in the database table we have four images over here so right now if we refresh there you can see we are able to see all the images the book title author name currently available which is 10 so we are able to show all the book images and book details over here so but now if we log in it will give us a error so let me just log in and let's just go to the user at the end of gmail.com and let's give the password over here then click login and there you can see uh, for the URL slash home, it is giving us a error called undefined variable dollar data. The reason is here you can see slash home. If we just go to our web.php, uh, let me just go to the routes, then web.php. And here you can see for the route home, we are calling the admin controller index function. So let me just go to the app HTTP controller and admin controller. And in the admin controller index function, for the user type user, we are also sending the user to the same view, uh, which is phone.index. But from here, we are not sending the book data. So right now, what we need to do is that uh, we need to declare the same variable dollar data over here, and we need to get all the book data. So we can just copy this from here, Control C, then we'll paste it over here. And make sure that uh, you declare the same variable over here and here. Okay. And then we are going to say over here, comma, compact to first bracket to single quotation data. So since we are also sending the book data for logged in user, so right now we won't get any error in the home.index field. So right now, if we just refresh, so there you can see we are currently logged in as a user and it is showing us the emails over here properly. So in the next tutorial, what we do is that when the user click on this uh, view item details, it will take the user to another base where the user will be able to see the book image, the author image, and also the book description and category as well. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any question or any problem, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.